surgery. Hmm. I think it's time for you to leave. And so it is. I'm so sorry. Oh, and I'll be needing a lot. Yes. Thanks. I'm so sorry that you had to see that. But I'm afraid this surgery has been slacking and the choice of doctors that have been hiring here. I think it needs someone a little better. I will be your doctor. I'm fully trained and I will be taking care of you today. I'm, I hope that didn't make you feel scared or anything like that. Oh no, I'm sure he's gonna be perfectly fine. Yeah, he, he got out there pretty quick. So what, what was he doing to you? What, what was he doing a lot torch thing going around there? There, is this, this it? So, what have we got here? Okay, you, what was he saying? Look at, look at the torch. Okay, you keep looking at the torch. Keep looking at the torch. Okay, and don't worry about this. I'm just gonna keep it pointed at you just in case you decide to leave, okay? Don't worry, it's not, it's not a real gun. Okay, so, um, I keep looking at this little torch here. Okay, just follow it around. Okay, follow it around. And see that there, there. You gotta make a nice big smile there. You look a little bit distressed. Hmm. Is it the scars? Do you want to know how I got them? Well, one day, I was in a strange area, and I wanted to impress someone very, very dear to me. So I thought I'd go get my hair cut. So I went to this barber shop, <laughs> and I thought this will make me feel great. Keep looking at the torch. 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 I went at the barber shop, and the barber there, he wasn't nice. He wasn't nice. Not one bit. So I asked for a specific haircut, and the barber gave me a terrible one. Said. I was too lower class that I needed better haircut. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. So I took or borrowed some barber sharp scissors and you know, you know, you know the rest now. I'm always happy. I'm always smiling. And I just let my hair grow. You don't seem to please. That's okay, that's okay. I'm a doctor, so let me put that away there. You know, that can't be doing any good to you. I, I think I should check your vitals here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on you. Okay, we are we gonna put this on here. Is it, yeah, there, okay. It's pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, let's check it out. There. details 
a Mac computer there. Hmm. Okay, so I've got a little bit of an opportunity for you. I think you're gonna really, really like it. So I've noticed there that you're in perfect health. So I would like you to come work for me. This is the bit where you get excited. Hmm. So what does that entail? Well, we thought I was tipped off by, I think, one of your local people or something like that. One of your areas where you get your smart clothes from. But we wanted to bring you in because we think you would be very, very suitable for a job. Are you familiar with Gotham? So you know all about the Batman and all of the things he does at night. You notice one little trend with the Batman. The Batman always goes for lower class individuals. But you look like a lower class individual, though you're a lower class individual who's got a lot of money. You go to all of these places everywhere. You go to these expensive barber shops, you go to these game shops, you go get your haircut, you go get your games, you go to suit shops, you get yourself fitted with the best suits. You go to expensive libraries, you get expensive books. I know everything about you. Which means you would be perfect to come and work with our little tiny operation we've got going at the moment. See, we need someone with you, like you, like you, with resources. We will take all of your resources and in return, you will do everything for us. gonna come in and save you don't worry about that you are gonna do just a little job for us we are in need of expansion and we need someone of your talents who sort of blends in with all of the lower class people that Gotham seems to have these days you know it's people like Bruce Wayne, who have made Gotham a terrible place. There's too many classes in there. We just want to make things better for Gotham. And I think that you can help us do that. You can do that. You see, when we take you to the bank, you're going to take out all of your money, okay? Go into the special vault. A couple of my clones are going to be there with you. And then they're going to break in and take everybody hostage. And then I shall come in and we shall take away as much as we can. And we need that as a little investment for our little Gotham endeavor. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, but as a show of good faith and good will, I want something with me here just to show you know some little things that money really isn't an issue for us. We just need more of it. And you, who has been able to blend in to all of these rich people. You have seamlessly blended in. So we'd like you to continue that. Give us all of your money. And I assure you, 
you'll get all the money you need. This, what is this? Who cares about it? Nobody cares in Gotham about this money. And if you want more of it, then we'll give it to you. So how about as a little bit of a good faith here? Give you a little bit of money then, okay? So there's 100 bucks for you. 100, there you go, take it. How about another 100 bucks for you? Hmm. You want it, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, I could see that you want it. You love this green stuff, don't you? Then you take it. Take all the money you want. Let's get another note out there for you. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Look at that money. You want to add it to your collection? Okay, there it is. Let's get another note out there for you. This. This is another hundred bucks. Big bucks. This, I'm sure, will be very beneficial for you. There we go. I think you deserve another one here. Okay. So, I think that you, because you're such a great person, and we really want you to come and work with us. There's another hundred bucks for you. It's a great hundred bucks. Okay, let's see how much we've got in here. Okay, well don't worry. We're not gonna be here for too long. So I've got one of my clowns to put a bag over here. I mean, someone's gonna come and then we're gonna go over to Gotham. We're gonna helicopter waiting to pick us up. Another hundred bucks there for you. What can you do with this one hundred bucks? Well, you won't be able to put in your bank account because we would have taken all of that money. So I suggest you enjoy all of this money here as we go along. Just so you know that it is a real note we got here. So I don't know if you're going to be privy to our li little plan. I'll tell you, you look like you're a trustworthy individual. No, oh, forgive me, I'm not being a good doctor whatsoever, so let me trust. sound a little bit nervous. Let's, let's work that uh, for you. Hmm. Are you always this tense? I can see why you go to the doctors. That's too fast for me. No, 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 no. What can I do for you here? Okay, put a little bit of light here. Okay, so that's that's just for relaxing you, is that can make you feel a little bit better. And that keeps turning that light, okay? Um, my man's type up stuff here. Okay, just, yeah. Um, okay, keep looking at the light. Keep looking at the light. The light's gone out. So I'll type up your stuff here. So is this relaxing you? Is this making you feel good? Um, no? Okay. Well, how about my gloves? I've got some doctor's gloves. Is this going to make you feel, feel relaxed? Okay. Well, of course, I'm a professional. I'm a professional doctor. And I'm going to be making you feel relaxed and feel great. So, I'm going to take a look and your face. Hmm. No, just keep looking there. Keep looking in there. Get relaxed. Keep looking in there. And keep looking in there. Keep following the autoscope. There.
the oscilloscope, we have to make sure that all the clowns oh, have got perfect health. There's a lot of running involved, a lot of activities. You've got to make sure that you have got perfect health for all of these activities. Plus, we have a little bit of a bad problem in Gotham. It can get a little bit strenuous. So you gotta make sure that you can be walking plenty and running and fighting and all of those things that you do to control bats and pest control. Right. So I think that you're looking good there. You're looking good. Just let me know when you're you're ready. You wanna be taken back to our little headquarters and I can tell you all about the plan and everything else we need to go through. This is just your little routine doctor's check, okay? So what we got here. I think that you need to get a little bit of a hundred dollar bill face rub, okay, so we just rub that around your face there, okay, and we just rub that a little bit around your face there, there we go, okay, and just rub it around your face there, rub it a little bit around your face there, okay, how about we just get a little bit more there, rub it around your face, and a little bit more there, rub it around your face there. You know that I'm a professional, as I know all the things that the GPs do, and the doctors, all so-called doctors do, to make you feel good. Okay, so that's, that's making you feel good. Well, there's gonna be plenty more of all of this money, so there you go, there's a nice little investment for you, there's another investment for you, and there you go, take out the money, and there you go, so I think the talk of all that money is making you feel nice and relaxed, okay, so there's just a little bit of a trip to get ahead of us, okay, you still feel nice and relaxed, don't you? Okay, let me just check. Hmm. Let me turn the lights down a little bit there. I still think that you can feel just a little bit more relaxed. Okay, so maybe I'd like to follow this little torch have here. Okay, keep a look out at the torch here. Okay, keep looking as it goes around and around. There. Okay, keep looking at this little doctor's torch there. Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Keep relaxing to it. Okay, I'm Dr. Joker. I'm here to make you feel relaxed and look after you because we of course are a friendly little bunch. Okay, keep looking at the torch. Keep looking at the torch. There and there. There we go. And a nice little smile there for you. There is, of course, good reasons why we like to look at the torch. You may encounter something like this in Gotham. We find that a lot of the cops, you know, those people, always upsetting people in Gotham, and they all 
and I have a little torch like this on the end of that little weapon. Take the weapon away and nothing. They're just a torch. But you'll find when you go into those little banks and all of those amazing places that I'm going to show you in Gotham, you might find occasionally you get a little cup that comes in and they have one of these little torches on their pistol. So you gotta get used to relaxing to them. So every time you see one of these, instead of feeling a little bit, you know, scared or nervous or not relaxed, now you will remember to feel good. The funny side of these little torches that you will see. Those torches are very relaxing to look at. Very relaxing to look at. They make you feel tired. Make you feel a little bit sleepy. Relaxed. A little bit drowsy. There. That's all they are. Little torches on their little guns. Which do nothing. Of course, there are lights a little bit brighter than this little torch here. You might encounter hmm, a couple of little bigger lights. There's one in particular. Usually it goes up in the sky late at night and there's a little bad symbol. Everyone goes crazy when they see that little symbol. Everyone goes and hides and everything like that. We're not like those people. We see it as a little bit of an opportunity for us to go and play in the city. So we will wait until the bad light ignites the whole night sky amongst all of the pollution that all those people don't care they've left in the city it makes an amazing little mist and fog and you just love it you'll see this little bad signal usually that means the bad man is meant to be out saving rescuing gotham doing all these amazing wonderful things no 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 cops just put that out there. The commissioners, all of those people, to scare off all the people so no one goes out. Though we will take advantage of this little hmm, opportunity. We will then go out and we will try and go and visit every little bank in Gotham and in particular, all those little criminals who hide away and collect all their little money and try to invest in little thing, in whatever. We will pay them a little visit and say that we're going to work for them. Though, in reality, we can steal all their savings. Okay, we're going to make a big old pyramid out of money. And this is where you come in. Okay, sorry, I meant to be making you feel a little bit relaxed there, okay? Give it a nice relax. Okay, I'll bring this little bit of pistol here, alright? Okay, keep following that pistol there, okay? I don't usually use such weapons. Okay, I'm surprised you get a little bit nervous of this. This is just a little plastic toy. This is real. Think I use something like this? No. No. Gotham deserves better. So we give it some. We don't use these stupid little things. No, we don't use those. We don't really use anything. We just inspire. This is all about you. And making you feel good. Relax. And once we know that you can trust us, you know that we can then trust you.
and then your whole world of opportunities open up and got them. I can't wait to take you there. You're going to absolutely love. Would you like some more money? I think you would. Right. Okay, so how much would you actually want? I mean, you've got tons of this. I know you've got quite a lot. Okay, I know that you're going to make an open investment. Okay, so you get a lot more. I assure you. Okay, so how much we got there? About 100, 100, 100, 10,000 bucks. Okay, so much money for you to do. All the things that you want to do. Plus, you'll be making Gotham a better place. A better place for all people like us. We just want to take down all of the order they try to put on everyone we don't need any of that no we try to give every single person equal opportunities so we really people people okay so how about you take all of that yeah and oh trick. No? Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. Okay, so... Hmm. No, I don't think you're in the mood for that. Okay, so I think that you are looking okay, nice and a little bit relaxed there. We've, we've done all of your checkup there. So any little medical issues you may have later on, like I don't know, Getting beaten up by the Batman, getting captured by the Batman, getting hit by the Batman. Uh, one of the Batman toys goes into you, anything like that. I wouldn't count that much on the commissioners and all the cops in Gotham. But the Batman's a little bit of a problem. Though, so, come see me. I will take care of all of your medical needs from now on. You don't need to worry about these places here. No. They probably called the cops already. And look how long it's taken them to even get here. Nobody's here. Okay. So don't worry about that. We'll make it all better for you. So why don't we go to our little new headquarters? Okay. Best place. 
cases to get things like this. This is this is work for our little group, and we will make sure that collectively we will persevere and make sure we get plenty of this. You know, all of those rich garden people, they don't care about people like you and I. They only care about this. They only care about this and this and this and this and this and this. All of it, that's all they care about. They don't care about the people. They don't care about the society. We care about the people. We care about Gotham. And Gotham is a great, prosperous place. And if you go to the right places and you know the right people, hmm, that would be me. Then you will persevere and become got it. You become mighty rich. But by then, you won't even care about this. You'll have so much of this, you won't even know what to do with it. I don't even know what to do with this one we've got here already. There's just so much that we can just do with all of this stuff. I'm pretty sure whatever is going on in Gotham, we will make it a better place. You know, this is just worthless meaningless things and this is what the Batman protects and we can make sure that the lovely people of Gotham with your help of course trick in all of those you know high class people thinking that you've you know low class when in fact you've got all this money we're gonna trick them we're gonna make them Make sure that they know that this stuff is not what gives them control of the city. No, it's us. We will be taking over Gotham, and with this, we will be coming up with our own little inventive ways to make sure that the Batman doesn't come out to play. Oh, he could come out to play, but we don't want him to come out to play every night. Just now and again, you know. But we need more of this. So, we're so happy to have you with us here in Gotham. It's going to be most prosperous for you, and it's going to be most prosperous for us. But I would personally like to thank you from clown to low class individual. Mm -hmm. Personally, thank you for wanting to join us and get on with all of our important work that we've got to do here in Gotham. There's lots to do. Lots of people to, shall we say, receive our endorsement for our Gotham activities and lots of changing to do. And throughout the whole process of this, we will keep it as fun and relaxing as possible because that's the kind of clowns we are here now. We do have a little policy, and we recommend that every, hmm, we don't really do employees here, though every person that works with us here, you know, we recommend that you get a mask of some sort, you know, something that people don't see your face on when it comes to you know, people get all serious. We like to make them feel happy and content, you know. So, you know, we're not so concerned with this, and this, and 
this, and this, and this, and you have this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. We like to show them that we can put the real smile on their face. Because clowns, of course, bring smiles on everybody's face. Just mine so happens to be the happiest. Okay, so I'm gonna take you around Gotham tonight. I think. I don't see any Batman light on at the moment. I think the Batman is out there tonight. I am hoping that we can introduce ourselves to the Batman. I like to leave a little calling card in various places. Hopefully he's got it by now. But you never know, tonight can be the night where we actually get to meet him. We can only hope as he's out there doing his little Gotham saving thing that he does. We don't need stopping, of course, but we are almost eager to meet the bat. So, let's hope that tonight is the night we get to meet him. So, there's a little bit of spending money for you, and I thank you for your investment. There's one for me as well. And uh, let's go and see what we can do in Gotham tonight. Okay, so you look a lot better now than when I first met you. I know it's a little bit scary when, you know, you got a clown come and take over your doctor's appointment or whatever you're getting down there. I don't even know. He's, I'm sure he's a very friendly doctor. Oh, some of them pretend, but whatever you're doing there, it's better here. You have a lot more fun here, and if you want to relax and sleep, you can do whatever you want here. We have the whole building to do whatever you want, and we don't care what you do as well. So, make yourself at home, sleep, relax you know, do whatever you need to do. And then when it comes to the great fun stuff, like making a pyramid of cash, then, uh, yes, you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And of course, meet the Batman. But I say we go and go for a little tour around Gotham City tonight. How's that sound? Great. Well, it was great to make your acquaintance now. Let's go. Okay, so remember when you're out there, take care of yourself and I'll say cheerio for now just in case the bat gets one of us. Probably you. Okay. Let's go.